Hello everyone and welcome to another devlog video for Homegrown. It's the start of a new week here in rainy Hamburg and today finally I'm going to be working on some gameplay. It's been a long time since I last did gameplay but the time has finally come. As I said last week it's all about the town at the moment and the first feature that I'm going to be adding to it is the farmers market. So I'm just going to jump in and do a quick bit of planning this morning and then I'll tell you more about how the farmers market's going to work in a bit. So planning is done, just about to get started with some programming. The way that the farmers market is going to work is that it's going to provide a different way for you to sell your produce, a more profitable way, but it only pops up once a week in the game. So the first thing that I need to implement this week is the concept of time into the game, because I don't know if you've noticed, but the in-game clock has been saying that it's Monday 12.45 for about the last six months, so it's time for me to update that. So I've just quickly implemented the concept of time and days of the week into the game and then the current day and time is being displayed up here in this UI. I'm actually not overly happy with how it's being displayed but we'll talk a bit more about that later. Um, I'm going to get on to the next bit now which is allowing the scenery in the town to change whenever it's market day. Next up today I've just been implementing this scenery system which spawns extra scenery in the town when it's market day, when it's Sunday. So if I go to the town now, you can see it's Friday, so the town's looking pretty normal. Uh, but if we go back home and wait for the time to tick over to Sunday, then you'll see the new scenery spawn. So it is now Sunday, so if we go to the town, it's not very exciting, but you can see I've been testing it out with these spheres, which have now spawned in the town for market day. And uh, if we then wait for the time to go back to Monday, you can see the spheres have been removed. So that's all working nicely, and obviously my next task is now to create some proper scenery for market day. I've been learning a little bit about how to use cloth physics in Blender, because I didn't really know how to do it, and I wanted to create this nice sagging bunting um, so that I could use it to decorate the town on market day, which I have now started doing. And I think it looks quite cute, so I'll continue doing that later. I'm just going to take a quick break now and go for a quick run while the sun's out, um, and then I'll finish off the decorations. So I'm finished with my work on the town scenery for now. So if we go to the town on a Saturday, it looks like it always does, pretty normal, not much going on here. Um, so let's go back home and do a bit of farming while we wait for the clock to tick over to Sunday, which it has now done, so it's now market day. So if we visit the town now, you can see that some bunting has been put up, um, lots of bunting. I spent most of my time putting up bunting. I did also create some other scenery like these balloons though, and then over this side a bit more bunting and then the actual market area I haven't done much work on yet I guess I spent too much time on the bunting but I did put up this little banner and I also created a quick little model for a market stall but eventually this whole area will be filled with a bustling market but that will have to wait till tomorrow because I'm done for today Just made a couple of quick updates before I get started on the market. Firstly, I decided to remove the time from this display up here because I found it a bit strange when there's no day-night cycle in the game. It's always sunny, so it's a bit weird when it says something like 3 a.m. So instead, I've now got this clock on the left working. So it shows you, it's more of a dial because it just shows you how far through each day you are. So one cycle per day. Um, I also added a little effect for when it gets to market day. I'm just speeding up time now. So it adds a bit of bunting for market day and that then gets removed when market day's over. And also in the town I did a bit more work on the layout, just 
a bit more distant scenery to fill out the world a bit. And also the people now move very slightly. Um, they're going to move a lot more than this when I actually work on them, but I just wanted to do something for now so that they're not standing around like creepy statues anymore. Anyway, enough messing around, it's time to get started on this market. So we've just had a pretty chilled morning of programming. I started off by doing a lot more planning on how the farmer's market functionality is going to work, planning out some of the UIs and just how I'm going to implement it. And then I got started in the code. This is actually going to be quite a big update. I think I'm going to have to do it in a few iterations. So this week it's just going to be the absolute bare bones of this feature. And then in the future, I'll add more of the finer details. Um, but yeah, I got started programming the first part of this feature, which is going to allow you to click on this sale sign and purchase your own stool. Been making some good progress this afternoon, um, just on my laptop at the moment, because I wanted to chill out on the sofa for a bit. But I got the buying a stool bit working. So you can see I can now click on this sale sign and that allows me to buy this spot to place my stool. So if I do that for 100 coins, then I get a stool placed here, except it starts off as a table um, because the idea is that you're going to be able to upgrade your stool and then obviously as you do that, that will upgrade the model as well. It's a few days later now, I've been doing loads of programming to get all of the back-end functionality for the farmer's market working. I realise I haven't actually told you what that functionality is going to be yet, um, but I'll be able to demonstrate it to you soon, so I'll just tell you about it then. I've also been getting started on the UI for your market stool, so if you click on your stool, it now opens up the UI. And I've been trying something a bit different this time with the UI, as you can see, I've been trying to make it actually look like a market stool. Um, it was just an idea I had and I thought if I never try out new stuff how can I ever improve so I thought it was worth a go and uh, yeah we'll see how it turns out. It is another few days later now. I've still got lots to do but I am now at a stage where I can actually demonstrate the basics to you. So here is my market stall. You can see I've got three slots where I can put items up for sale. And then on the right are all of the vegetables currently in my inventory. So let's put some carrots up for sale. You can see I can choose the price that I want to sell them at and I can choose how many I want to sell. Um, in terms of the pricing, the lowest price that you can choose is the price that you would get if you sold this vegetable at the shop. Obviously there's no point going lower than that but you can go higher and that's the whole benefit of selling at the farmer's market. You're going to make more profits from your vegetables. Um, the catch is that they don't sell instantly though. So just like at a real market, they're going to sell bit by bit throughout the whole of market day. So once I put some items up for sale, they're gonna just sell automatically throughout the day now. So I can go back home, do some farming. I'm going to implement some sort of notification system so that um, you'll be kept up to date as to how they're selling. So you don't always have to go back and check, um, but I haven't done that yet. So let's just speed up time now and go to the end of the day. So we can go back to the market and see how they've sold. So as you can see, the carrots have completely sold out and then the other two have partially sold. You can see from the blue progress bars here and all of the money that we've earned is shown down here. So we haven't sold everything and this is where the upgrading your stool part is gonna come into play because you're going to be able to increase the size of your stool which will give you more slots to sell items in and you'll also be able to increase the demand for your products so that they sell faster. <laughs> Start of a new day, start of a new week actually, it's Monday morning and um, I've only got two more days to work on this before I need to start editing the devlog video because on Friday this week I'm going on a little summer holiday, driving down to the Alps, going to be there for a week and I'd like to get this done before then. So two more days to get as much of the farmer's market done as possible, so I'm going to get cracking on the next part of it today. Mm -hmm. 
Starting off today by working on this collection box. The model's just a placeholder. But the idea is that once market day's over, all of the stalls obviously get removed, uh, which means you can no longer access your market stall UI. So the point of the box is that any items that were still in your stall or any money that was still that you hadn't collected yet, um, after market day that gets put into this box, which get, gets left behind, so that even after market day's over, you can still come here on the Monday or whenever you want and collect the leftover items and money. So. I'm going to work on this UI now. Just stopping for a quick lunch, I made myself a salad with quite a few things from the balcony. Lettuce, tomatoes, spring onions and mint as well, so that's nice. Uh, the UI is coming along nicely, I've finished up all of the layouts and this afternoon I'll work on the functionality. Half past two now, the collection box is done. So if we go to our market store, you can see we've got a few items up for sale. We've also got some money um, that we've earned. Um, by the way, I realize it would be very nice if the items were actually visible in the 3D world on your store, but that'll have to be something for the next iteration of this feature. Anyway, let's say we then go back to the farm. We're doing some farming and market day ends. So it ticks over to Monday. And now what we can do is we can go back to the town. Obviously all the stalls have been taken down but we can collect all of our earnings and any leftover items from our stall um, from the collection box. For the rest of the afternoon, I've been working on a system which will allow you to see how your items are selling without you constantly having to come to the market to check them. And um, it's not finished yet, but the way that it's going to work is that I think your items are just going to, to show up on the side of the screen like this and uh, under each one is a progress bar showing how much of it has sold. So you'll be able to constantly keep an eye on them while you're in your farm area. Um, it's not finished yet but I'm finished for today. It's 20 to 6 now, I'm going to get some dinner, have a relaxing evening and I'll see you tomorrow. It is 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning, last day of programming today before I need to start editing the devlog video tomorrow. So I want to finish off that offers overview UI that I was doing at the end of yesterday and then I've got one other little feature that I want to add to the market. Um, unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to do the upgrading your stool parts this time because I don't have time. So that'll have to wait till the next iteration of this feature. So I've just finished working on the market overview UI. I was mostly just doing work determining when it should be shown and when it should be hidden, like when you go into the main menu or when you open up your market stall. It also gets hidden now, just because I didn't think you need to see this information in two places. And it also probably updates now, as it should when you change the offers. I'll probably at some point add a little arrow button that you can click to hide this UI if you don't want to see it. Um, but it is also only for market day, so if I just speed up time to end market day, then obviously that UI goes away. So the majority of the time when you're playing the game, that UI is not going to be there anyway. Next up today, I'm doing a bit of work on trying to make the in-game economy slightly more interesting so that you have a bit more to think about when you're choosing which items to sell at the, at the farmer's market. Um, I don't want to make it too complex though, obviously this is a casual game, I don't want to have like stock market graphs for every vegetable. So the idea that I've had, it's very simple, every week a different set of vegetables are trending and those trending vegetables will sell faster at the farmer's market. And you'll probably be able to find out which vegetables are trending during the week so you can prepare if you want to by growing those vegetables. Um, so I've just been planning out how that's going to work and I made a quick draft for how it's going to look in the UI and I'll start programming that after lunch. All afternoon today I've been working on the in-game economy and determining how fast different items should sell. So firstly I implemented the whole trending items thing so you can see which ones are trending because they've got this little icon next to them. 
And if you click on it in the info panel, it tells you that they're selling faster and they do sell faster. This daily sales value is increased for the trending vegetables. And I've also just been doing general work on the calculations for, for how fast items sell, depending on their original price, the price that you set, um, whether they're trending or not, the vegetable quality, and, and just trying to make sure that your decisions actually matter and that the strategy is not too easy. I don't want it to be that the optimal strategy is always to have the price slider at 30% or something, because that would just be boring. So I have to balance it in a way so that the decisions that you have to make are interesting and actually matter. So that's going to be it for this first iteration of the farmer's market feature. And it is just the first iteration. There's still loads that needs to be improved. I'm going to play test this a lot now to see how it all feels. I'd love to hear your feedback on it as well. And then we'll revisit this in the next iteration. To finish up this week, I just want to show you a quick demo of the whole feature as it currently is, because I covered quite a lot in the video. So the in-game clock now works and tells you what day of the week it is. And every Sunday is market day. And on market day, the town gets all nicely decorated and the farmer's market is held on the field over here on the right. And here you can purchase your own stall, which will allow you to put your own produce up for sale and sell them for a higher price than you would usually get in the shop. You won't be able to sell everything you have though, so you need to choose carefully which items you want to sell and what your pricing strategy is going to be so that you can make the most of the limited selling time. Once you've put some items up for sale, you can go back to your farm and get on with your farming. Your vegetables will sell throughout the day and you can keep an eye on how it's going using this UI here. And of course you can change or edit your offers at any time during market day. Finally, once market day ends, you can go back to the town to collect your earnings and any unsold items. And soon you'll also be able to upgrade your stall as well, so that as your farm grows, you'll also be able to sell more produce during market day. So that's going to be it for this week. Before I finish, I want to say a massive thank you to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Peter Westhazen, Daniel Serlov, Ingo Moore, Henning K.O., Helsan Taberas, Andrew Romans, Marys, Shadeless Fox, Kimo Tamio, Coda the Tyler, Ross from Two Minute Tabletop, Nikat Azgazada, Zanil Ambakar, Atomic Code, Walden Yan, Chris Naismith, Alan Lance, Wonuff, Dieter Reiner, Tari Chung, John Needham, Christoph Herb Ho, Hagen Vingard, Matthew Connerton, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Sean McCrory, Kathleen Coder, Timothy Gibbons, Alexander Chavez, and Neil Blakey Milner. So a massive thank you to you guys, and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this week though, that is it. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time.